This is an overview of the vCard widget for Elementor. The vCard widget can add a button or a QR code with contact information from your contacts on your website. When a user will click the button, it will automatically populate all the contact information in the contact on your phone and you can create a new contact by clicking the create new contact button over here like I just did and it will populate all the data. Another way we can use this is if we jump into the website, you can see that over here, I'm going to move my phone to the right side and open the camera. And now I can use the camera to jump over here to the QR section. And you can see under the QR section, it's detecting it. And I'm using a regular camera. I'm not going to use any special app for this. And you can see that when I click on the QR code over here, once it detects the name under it, also, all the data is populated inside and you can create a new contact like I just showed before. Also, with this widget, what you can do is actually create a full business card, digital business card kind of look with all these custom links, social links, or links to the contact information inside of the vCard data. So, it's a pretty cool widget, can do a lot of stuff. Without no more further ado, let's jump in, get started. So I'm over here inside of Elementor and in the widgets pane, I'm just going to write in vCard and drag and drop the vCard widget to the page. And as you can see, it's pretty simple button. I mean, there's not a lot of extra stuff going on, but we can start turning on or off the different kind of elements we want to add depending on our use case. So the basic, basic use case is just a button. And over here in personal details, contact details, and address, we add all the details that we want to be added to the visitors on our website once they click that button. So you can start filling in the details. I'm not going to go into this too much because it's pretty straightforward. So you can add a first name. For example, my first name is Amit and my last name is Karen. And you can go on and on and on and just put in all of the data over here. For example, a phone number, an email address. I'm going to put my email address. You can put in your website, whatever information the vCard supports on iPhones and on Android. So all of the information, just put it inside, personal details, contact details, and address, put them inside. And then you can just publish this. And once a, a web, website visitor will visit the page, click on the button, the vCard will be generated into his phone and he can save the contact to his phone. So that's a simple use case. Now, if we wanna to go to a more advanced use case, we can jump in here to general and for example, show QR code. And once I show the QR code, you can see that right now it's adding a QR code. So that's another type of use case, for example, when uh, website visitors are not visiting from their phone and they're visiting from desktop, but they have the phone near them, they can scan this QR code with their phone. So that's pretty cool as well. I'm gonna turn that off and we can also add an image on top of here. We can show the name that we've populated earlier. We can add a job title, the company, and we can also add contact buttons. So these are the buttons over here. To manage the buttons over here, we need to go down to contact items. And you can see we can delete items, we can duplicate items, we can add new items, and we can also reorder the items. Once I open an item over here, you can see that we have an option for a title and a source. So right now it's taking the source from the details that we've inputted over here in contact details, but we could also add a custom link. So all of these fields are populated automatically from the details that we've entered previously, or we can add a custom link for stuff that's not included inside of the default vCard button. 
So that would be like an Instagram link or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, you can just uh, add some animations if you want to the uh, contact items over here. And we can jump into style right now. So inside of style, I'm going to go into image. And for example, I want my image to be a lot smaller. And I'm going to add some border radius over here. So right now, this is starting to look like a digital business card. And let's just put in the data for the image as well. So let's search for an image over here that we can put. And I'm going to use this image over here. And you can see that everything is adapting nicely. Now, when a user will view this from mobile, this is going to actually look like a full digital business card. And over here inside of the uh, contact details, we have number of items in each row. So I'm just going to change that instead of four to three. And you can see that now we have just three. Over here, we can add an another two items. And you can show like a grid of six different contact buttons over here. Let's jump back into style. Maybe make the name a little bit bigger. So let's go over here. Change the font size. Make that bigger. Looking good. And you can really customize each and every single element. The colors, the typography, the spacing. Exactly like you want. So if I'm going to go into a button. And I want to add some more spacing so it won't be so close to the other buttons. That's how I would do that. So that's about this widget. I hope I was helpful in this video. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.